Gosh, it's lovely down here at the mouth of the Rangitaiki River. You can see in the distance Fakari White Island steaming away and closer to shore uh, Motuhora. You can see a few white baiters trying their luck on the edges of the river. Brad, we've talked about uh, large-scale earthquake events. What are some of the safety things I need to be thinking about, you know, to, to keep myself and, and others around me safe in yeah. the event of one? Yeah, well, so when you get to experience a really large, damaging and shaking earthquake, um, you've got to think about the environment you're in. And th there's three key messages. One is drop, the second is cover, and the third is hold. So you're going to drop so that you don't get shaken over, you don't fall over from the shaking. So the idea is to get down and secure yourself. So that's the first part, drop. Cover, that's when you're thinking about your environment around you. You know, what might fall on me, what might damage me. So you're looking for somewhere to shelter, probably under a desk or something like that. So you'll crawl under the desk to make sure that you're, at least your head and shoulders are secure or safe. And the third part, hold, is, is holding on to that desk because of the shaking you know, the desk might start moving across the floor of the room you're in or something like that so you're going to hold on so you're just thinking about the environment and how am I going to protect myself and how am I going to be safe during the strong shaking and if there's nothing to go under and hold on to I think the message is that you just cover your the back of your head with your arms is that right that, that's right your, your, your head and shoulders is sort of the most vulnerable part of you so that's the part you'd really like to protect um, so you might want to sort of put your hands in that over your head and sort of curl up a wee bit if you can't find something to shelter under. And you mentioned considering the environment that you're in because you're not always in the same place. It's actually a good practice to just have a quick scan of a new place that you go to to consider should an event like an earthquake happen, where would I go? That, that's right, it's something you should sort of be always be in the back of your mind. Um, we can't predict earthquakes, we don't know when they're going to happen, so you, they're just going to arrive. Um, you could be just walking into a supermarket, you could be walking along the road, you could be in a stranger's house or visiting somebody, um, you might be in a car driving along the road, a bus. Um, so yeah, just think about the environment that you're in and what's happening around you, and just, you know, where would I be safe, how would I protect myself during a large earthquake? and practice and that's what shakeout's all about because having an action like that where you drop cover and hold and it's automatic um, you know you're not going to delay that action that you need to take and should the earthquake strike yeah that's right so yeah so join us tomorrow on um, shakeout 2020 and prepare for yourself <laughs>